if a is to b is a ratio then b is to a is the inverse ratio let's understand this with the help of an example let us check whether a is to b is equal to b is to a or not the number of mangoes with pratima be 12 and let it be equal to a the number of mangoes with manasa be 6 and let it be equal to b so a by b is equal to 12 by 6 which is 2 times now b by a is equal to 6 by 12 which is equal to half part now what did you observe from this normally a by b is not equal to b by a which means a is to b is not equal to b is to a the order of the terms in a ratio is important if the order of the terms is changed then the value of the ratio also changes ratio can be multiplied or divided by any number it is the exact opposite process of bringing ratio into smaller form let's see some examples now ratio of numbers of apples in john and ram's hand is 6 is to 9 ram and john cut their each apple into three equal parts and also calculate the total number of pieces solution the total number of apple pieces in john's hand is 18 and ram's hand is 27 so the new ratio is 18 is to 27 how did we get this new ratio let us understand this briefly the old ratio is 6 is to 9 which can also be written as 6 by 9 since each apple is cut into three equal parts the new ratio can be obtained by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3 that is 6 into 3 by 9 into 3 is equal to 18 by 27 but in this case the quantities of the apples remain the same that means the ratio does not affect by multiplying the numerator and denominator with the same number 